Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Hannah back with another video. I am gonna do another chit chat get ready with me because I feel like doing that. <laughs> um, because I have been picking up a couple new products here and there, and I feel like I say this at the beginning of every chit chat get ready with me. But I want to talk to you guys about the. It's Hannah from the future. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, so I need to tell you about something, and it's that good, good, that be tan, tan. <laughs> this portion of today's video is sponsored by B Tan, and this time we're talking about their medium to tan gradual tan lotion. So this is actually an everyday lotion that you. It just gives you a hint of color every time you put it on. It gives you a hint, and it just builds and builds really gradually every day as you put it on. And I. First of all, I've been using it for the past like five days. I've been using it for like five days now and it just makes my skin look so healthy. And what I really think is, is it's a perfect fall tan. Like the fall, you know, like it's fine if you want us to look like you came back from beach vacation, like you do you. I would like to just look like a healthy glow of a skin of a skin that sentence did not make sense uh, but you guys know what i meant this gives your skin just like such a healthy glow and it's honestly really really nice because it's so like error free like honestly you just blend it all out like a lotion like imagine putting a body lotion on you just make sure it's all blended out and it touches every part of your body and then you know you're not going to get any streaks any patches or anything like that and it is not orangey at all either it also has marula and argan oil in it guys so my body has felt consistently smooth and hydrated for the past week of me putting this on and like it's kind of fun just like throughout the day just kind of like look down and be like oh my god i'm getting tanner like amigo <laughs> but it is all vegan friendly by the way cruelty free of course and um the dha they use is 100 natural too so we love to hear that if you're one of those people who's like kind of nervous of just putting on a mousse or something and then being 10 times darker or if you want to ease in the tan if you want to like have everyone be like oh she's getting tanner and then one day everyone's gonna be like, oh yep, she's, she's just tan now. And instead of just being like, oh, she did self-tanner last night. If you want to do that more like gradual release of the tan, I've honestly been loving it. I I mean, like I said, I've just, I've benefited from the smoothest skin all week because of this stuff. Um, the marula oil in there, like I've been actually obsessed with marula oil lately, um, like in all of the stuff at Ulta, I always play with things and I'm like, why is this so soft? And I'm like, oh, there's marula oil in it. Um, so super, super soft and nourishing to the skin. Also argan oil, like a power couple. So, but it, that being said, it does absorb. I don't feel greasy at all. Like it absorbs and then you are able to just go on with your day and put your clothes on. Literally the first day I put this on, I let it dry and then I had to go to work. So I put uh, literally jeans on over it. Nothing happened, nothing, nothing happened to my tan. It still was really, really nice. For a more whipped version, they have that too. So this is actually the same Shut Up and Kiss Me medium to tan, gradual tan only it's in a whipped version so i mean it's kind of fun it's fun to just be like and just like it literally rubs in like a lotion b tan thank you so much for sponsoring me your girl again and uh you guys the b tan link will be down below and um yeah i will just get back into this video now so much is going on in my life i am going ninja shopping I'm going wedding to shopping in like, like two weeks, I think. I really hope that I find the one because it's going to be my second time going and trying on dresses and I really have good feelings about this bridal shop. I'm very, very excited and that is like the long-term excitement for me. The short-term excitement for me is that I'm going to go get a tattoo today, like after this. And I have been wanting a new tattoo so bad. I still only have these little butterflies I got with my sister and then I have this ram skull with the floral wrap and i think i'm gonna get like a like a wildflower string up my wrist okay i still love kinship love them so so much i just feel like it really protects my moisture barrier with the prebiotics and it smells so good it makes my skin so glowy but i have oily skin and I don't think it makes it too glowy or anything like that. I definitely do use it as kind of like my moisturizer too in the morning. I have like my 
Snail Rescue Deep Moisture Cream. You guys, I've been loving putting this on at nighttime. Last after my skincare routine, it has so much squalene in it, and that snail secretion is like at, I think it's like 95% snail secretion, which my skin loves, dude. I love that snail stuff so, so much. But I have tried like this snail cream from Cozerex. And I will say, I feel like that one, at least for my skin, the peach slices one actually feels like it hydrates better and for longer for me. But that's like a win in my book because it's like a fraction of the price. And I still love you because it works, okay? Makeup time, makeup time. I love some makeup time. So I got one of these new shades that Rihanna released in Fenty. It's like one of their olive shades. It's 225. And I have actually been struggling with finding things that are my undertone because I think and my friend Amber thinks that I am an olive undertone which can be a little tricky in the makeup world because you're not quite warm but you're not quite neutral you're like a green mix of them so we'll see with my tan too like I'm tanning so much right now that I can't just return something if it's a little too dark for me I'll just like tan and see if it works okay I'm mad at that shade I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad. Okay, um, I'm going to put on the Fenty concealer as well. This is 190. I love this concealer though. I really do. No, but it does feel good to be like sitting down in front of the camera again. I look so scary. Um, it's, <laughs> it feels so good to like be chilling with y'all and because it's been so long and I feel like YouTube is more of just a fun thing for me now. It's not so serious. Um, which makes me feel honestly like so much better about making content because it's not like, oh my God, this is my whole life worth. <laughs> when you can make your hobby your hobby again and not work. That being said, obviously I am so busy with being full-time school and full-time work that it is hard for me to upload consistently at least here. I am, however, getting a little bit more comfortable making TikToks. Go follow me on TikTok, guys. I just posted one about how some lady came for me in my hair. I feel like it's just obviously way easier for me to post there with my schedule, like just making short form content. I can literally do that on my work breaks. Okay, so now I go like this, and you don't want to give anything the chance to crease, so. I'm getting my setting powder from Too Faced, you guys. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I got it because Manny MUA and Laura Lee, I, I watched their podcast. You should too, by the way, if you like them. I heard them raving about this. Manny, I know, has dry skin. So if he likes it, I feel like if dry skin people are raving about a setting powder, that's really good. I have to try it because I have oily skin, but I don't like powders that are drying. Like the Laura Mercier one can be kind of drying me sometimes. Um, just like around my teeth, not around my teeth, but like other places. But I love this. He's right. I love it. It's the Too Faced setting powder. I literally was like born this way. Too Faced setting powder. When did that sneak into the chambers? Like <laughs> I. I just did not even know of its existence for so long. And then I was like at work one day and I was like, wait, do we have that? <laughs> but yeah, feel free to do your thing. I'm gonna be in this room here, so just holler at me, okay? Come on, Lexi. A man just appeared at my house. <laughs> oh, and I opened the door looking like this. Oh, I scared him so bad. That's so funny. Anyways. Y'all have a nice close-up shot of this base we got going. <clears throat> this base on this face. So I'm still using my Fenty matchstick in Mocha. And I love her. And you guys, I've discovered that I actually really like to apply this onto my Camo Concealer Sponge by e.l.f. Instead of like putting it like on the face, you know, I just feel like it's so much easier to kind of just... First of all, it's already like in the shape that you want it to be because you can just like kind of stamp it. And then um, you can just, it's a good way of being able to add more little by little instead of putting too much and then being like, oh crap, I have to blend this all out and it's not intentional anymore. So I'm just gonna go like that.
and just like that look how pretty that is and I literally just like bam 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 for like 20 seconds I am gonna add a little bit more because I want a little bit more definition all right I'm going with the button nose contour today I guess put a little bit too much over the tip of my nose but that's okay now for my favorite ever blush this peachy cane blush stick if y'all saw on the other side of this is the pink part that's what I use to put the cream blush on and I do the same thing as I did with the bronzer I'm going right on here bam 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 sets it into the skin with the sponge so easily easily so this is actually a wet n wild multi stick should i take my chances with it and give myself some purple eyeshadow it was a choice i'm trying my best to blend it out with my finger oh no actually that looks pretty Ooh, wait am i happy with my choice oh i love it actually Ooh. I just like how it's like chill purple, like a very just like soft lavender, like ooh. Whimsical, it's whimsical. I really need to plick my, plick. I need to plick my eyebrows, guys. Wait, I'm gonna put a white eyeliner on by Morphe. I'm gonna put this on the bottom uh, waterline to pop. I always like have the tendency to like pull my skin down to put this eyeliner on, but it's so much better if you just literally go like this. I love white eyeliner in the bottom. Every time it's just so pretty. I don't want to keep this uh, simple, actually. Okay, so mascara time. Uh, the new Tartalette mascara is so so good. Like I didn't think, I didn't think I would ever say that about a Tarte mascara. I don't know. I have never loved a Tarte mascara before, and this really wowed me though. This is a tubing mascara. Girl, curl your lashes up. Twirl it. Don't penetrate. Twirl it. Don't trap air bubbles in there and dry it out quicker. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this mascara. I almost think it's so good I don't even like want to put the lashes on. I'm like, the lashes have arrived. But yeah, the tubing effect of this mascara actually is what like literally it like extends your lashes um, by drawing tiny tubes around them. But you guys, me and the girls have been watching The Bachelorettes and it's insane right now because I'm just like, what's gonna happen, you know? Mm -hmm. It's exciting though. It's something that me and my girlfriends watch together every week. And you guys, I highly recommend having like a once a week date set with your girlfriends, like a group of your girlfriends. It is so good for the freaking soul, especially if you're having such a busy schedule right now. It's just like so nice to like unwind, literally have some wine with your friends and be like, this is going on and then like you tune into a really juicy show and you're all just living the best life together with snacks like we always make a charcuterie board everyone will bring something and we all put it together and we all are just like wow we love what we do <laughs> but are you all seeing this i am really liking this white with purple so for my lips i still love using this buxom lip gloss it's the plump shot and it's so yummy i mean it's not yummy but it's really plumping and it's like a lip serum thing literally exfoliates my makeup off my lips too she's giving purple vibes and voila no more makeupy lips okay i'm gonna use this bite really hydrating lipstick in leche and just like that my face is done guys i literally am loving this gradual tan it is so nice. It's so, like this looks so good. Like my foundation shade with my tan. Cause it's just like a medium to tan tan. It's not like a really, really dark tan. <clears throat> I'm deciding to keep wearing my sunscreen and staying up to date with my lotion tanners. 
So I'm just gonna keep my skin looking really glowy and healthy all the way through fall. I'm probably just gonna wear like some jeans and something purple to keep the purple vibes going. But yeah guys, I highly recommend everything I used. I freaking love my face of makeup right now yeah i love my hand from the future back again so sorry you have to see more of me i just have one more sponsor to talk about okay and you guys already know you already know that it's dossier okay so if you don't know what dossier does they actually take cult favorite designer scents they take their lab and their wonderful ingredients they have and they create a scent that smells identical to that scent the cult designer scent but that is at a fraction of the price but you know still 3.4 ounce bottles it's all cruelty free too so sadly uh, we can't say that for all the designer brands but dossier changes the game for everyone because if you don't like it too because i know online you're like i don't know if i'm gonna like this if you don't like it you can ship it back easy peasy you guys let me tell you about the ones that i got so and when i say fraction of the price guys i'm talking like they just literally turn a hundred dollars into twenty five dollars five to thirty dollars to i think the highest price might be like 40 something or 50 for scents that smell just like the coco chanel mademoiselle for like 150 dollars it is so worth it this is ambry saffron ambry saffron is inspired by mason francis kurdagajin i'm not gonna i can't say that right it's the baccarat rouge 540 eau de parfum i'm so sorry i butchered that so it kind of reminds me of her by burberry a little bit and then this one the floral lavender is inspired by YSL Libre. So that one we do have at Ulta and I can sit, I can vouch that this smells even better than that one. Like even better. I love this, the way this smells. It's a floral lavender too and it, it really does smell like floral lavender. Like, and I don't usually like floral scents either, but I have been really, really liking this. So, oh, it just smells like so clean. Clean and oh, so Sweet, just the right amount of sweetness. I will be offering a discount code for Dossier, so please hit the link down below. And my code, I believe, is Handler10. Definitely go visit their website and see which if there's a scent you want to try out. Like I said, if you don't like it, ship that baby right back and you will get a full refund. Dossier, thank you so, so much for sponsoring you girl again. And, and I'm gonna get back into this video now. I also wanted to let you guys know that I did reread uh, The Power of Now recently and it made me so happy. It still makes me so happy. And it was my second time reading it. And the last time I read it was when I was like 17 and I felt like I loved reading it five years later i don't know i i want to almost read it like multiple times throughout my life you know it's just something to always go back to and like remember because it's so easy to forget being present and it's so easy to like just get caught in your trapped like mind state of just being trapped in your mind it is yeah everything i just wanted to put that little little tidbit of positive self-help book reading suggestion out there for y'all if you have not read power of now by eckhart tolle or have or if you have and you haven't read it in a long time and feel like you could use a little bit of a remembrance um go get yourself one go to the library and write one i need to actually cut my bangs though like with my blow dryer but I am about to be in a rush though, so I am not going to film that part. You just get the face part of it all today. But um, until next time, and follow me on TikTok. Um, I love you guys so, so much, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like for me. It helped me a lot. And um, I will see you when I see you. Yep. Check out my Instagram if you want to see my tattoo. I'll probably put it on there. So my Instagram and TikTok are both Hannah Rose Blair, by the way. So yeah, <laughs> peace and love. All right, love you guys. Have a good one. Bye.